Hey guys, Cutter Up Rob here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys something with the Duramax. So we got a, an LB7 um, head. Uh, we went through and freshened this motor up for a customer. Um, the first time when the engine got assembled, the injection, the injection cups didn't seal properly. Um, I'm not sure, we didn't install them, so I'm not sure if maybe they didn't get locked down fast enough or whatever happened. So anyways, we went through and we, we fixed that problem, checked out a couple other things, make sure everything was kosher, everything was fine. Now, uh, put it all back together, customer drove it for three, 400 kilometers. And now, this now, take. So take in consideration, this head has been pressure tested. When we brought the head in, it was pressure tested. We pressure tested it again when I installed the cups because we had the heads off. Um, and now I'm pressure testing it again and we got a leak. Now, the first two times we pressure tested, I pressure tested the same way, same pressure all that stuff and if you look inside this port I'm gonna get my flashlight going here I only have two hands so this is just to bear with me here for a second I don't know, yeah, oh yeah, you can see it in the video. See where it's bubbling up there? She's got a crack in her now. Now, it's, I think it's a porosity thing. I don't know, it's one of those things. The first two times the pressure tested it, that was not there. Now it is. So what the problem was is that we were getting coolant in the oil, or sorry, uh, we were getting coolant in yeah, in the in this number in this cylinder. So, only way to fix that is to replace the the uh, the cylinder head. But something I want to do here. I'm just going to block that valve guide off, and I'm going to fill it up with water. Maybe you guys can see a little bit better. Anchor up just a little bit more. I just do with my oh there. You so I usually just use soapy water for this, but I'm just gonna use water. I'm just gonna fill that port so you guys can see maybe a little bit easier. There you go, you can see how much is bubbling up just with that. So that's telling you how much is leaking. She's a leaky leaky. And what that is, I think, anyway, I'm going to inspect these in the new heads, is that there's kind of a funky spot. In, there's a funky spot just like inside that, inside here. And I'm not sure, maybe that's a common thing for it to happen. I'm not a, Dura, a big Duramax guy, so one of those things for me. I talked to the guys over at SoCal Diesel. Um, I bought a few things for Duramax stuff from them. Very, very helpful. If you guys have any Duramax, if you need any Duramax stuff, parts, any of that type of stuff, hit them guys up. Uh, they're down in California. Um, but they have lots of stuff, very knowledgeable guys. They do all kinds of in-house stuff. And anytime I've ever phoned them, uh, they've been more than helpful to, for me. I realize I own a shop, but you know, they, 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 the, they're very help. They've always been very helpful um, in anything that I've ever needed from them. So give them, a, give them a call if you guys need any Duramax stuff. And they have all kinds of stuff. But yeah, you can see it really bubbling up there now. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. Now, so this is no fault of anybody's when it really comes down to it, but it is what it is. So if you guys have a problem like this, it's really no fault of anybody's, but you know, when you own the engine and something like this happens, unfortunately, you're the one that foots the bill. Being, you know, it is what it is. The machine shop, they pressure test the heads. These ones have been pressure tested twice. There was no issue. Now there's an issue. So, you know, it is what it is, right? So it sucks kind of for everybody. Um, you know, I'm not gonna leave the guy hanging, but at the same time, you know, I can't work for free. So anyways, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments and uh, catch you on the next one.